Python functions about return types. Let's practice. So what we have here is the same as before, define doublet. We named our function called doublet. We're taking in one argument x and we have this new word called return. And uh, the only difference here is that uh, the idea here is we're going to act this the function is actually going to become the return value. So let's see what that means. So here we call it, we're calling the function by typing its name, double it. We're passing in the argument four, so the variable x becomes four. So we're gonna the function is gonna return two times four. Two times four is eight. So what does it mean? This is equivalent to saying return eight. What does return two times four mean? So, uh, or in this case, two times x mean? <coughs> it means that who whoever called, uh, wherever the, the function was called, is it going to actually become the return value? This here is equivalent to me taking this function and crossing it out and typing in the number 8. The exact same thing. So here, uh, let me just undo that. I'm going to say, when we use the keyword return in functions, the function actually becomes the return value uh, where, wherever the function is called. So here we're calling the function here. So this entire function literally gets cancelled out, crossed out, and becomes 8. So that's why we're allowed to print out x, which is 8. <coughs> So here, can you guess what this would do? Return, um, I'm just going to rewrite this in a different way. If I were to say uh, 4i in range, um, let me just, uh, never mind, let me just uh, go return 2 plus 2. Sorry, x plus x. This is the exact same thing. This is another algorithm. It's another way of uh, returning the function. x plus x really is 2x, which is the same thing as 2 times x. It's going to still return the same amount, and this is still going to work. So if I type in double it 5, print x, it's going to print out 10, and it does. Now, what if uh, we... Uh, what if we do it a bit more directly rather than using an intermediate variable x? What would happen? Are we even allowed to print out the function directly? Double it 7. Are we allowed to do that? We sure are because we use the keyword return. The function actually becomes the equivalent to print 14. Does print 14 work? Let's try it. And here. Wow, there's a lag there, but there's the number 14. It does work. So you are allowed to print 14. So equivalently, if you're allowed to print 14, then you can print double it, um, double it uh, a seven, which would give the, the the equivalent because this the function actually becomes the value, it becomes print 14. So let's run this. It should work, and it works right away, which is good news. So let's close that. Uh, you don't have to return a number. You can also return a string as well. Uh, for example, I'm just going to uh, double it and and uh, I will just say if x is greater than 5, I'll return maybe cat, else return dog. So here, let's uh, see how this works. So this is not a doublet function, I'll just call this function AAA, some generic function name. So I'm going to actually um, print AAA, let's type in 2. So here, is a, a is the variable x uh, greater than 5? No, it's 2. 2 is not greater than 5, so it's going to return dog. So this entire function gets crossed out, and we put in the equivalent of dog with double quotes because it's, it's returning a string. Are we allowed to print strings like this? Let's run it. We sure can. It's going to print dog. So if we're allowed to do this, then we're allowed to do this. We should print out dog. So it says dog. And what about cat? Let's make the number 9. So the 9 is passed into x. Is 9 greater than 5? It sure is. It's going to return cat. 
so this should print out cat alright so bottom line the function actually becomes crossed out and becomes the return value itself that's why we're allowed to combine it with with functions such as print congratulations you now have a little bit more insight into function return types